Thank you. The CDC's refusal to investigate CFS for 30 years is morally wrong, deeply disturbing, appalling, and outrageous. These are serious crimes against human rights violations, medical misconduct, malpractice, premeditated genocide, government fraud, crimes against humanity, and discrimination. Patients die 25 years younger than normal. Patients continue to suffer like someone with late-stage AIDS and congestive heart failure. Patients are dying as a direct result of the CDC. They ignore over 5,000 scientific studies, scientists, and doctors. More and more patients are going to die the longer they go without treatments. Dr. Mikovits warned this could be the worst epidemic in U.S. history. Our continent will be like HIV Africa, only worse. Patients endure severe, unbearable, excruciating, and agonizing suffering. Life is a living nightmare. We are dying a slow, torturous death, but the CDC has a deaf ear. The new CDC website is an outrage. They are now adopting the UK's treatment protocols for GET and CBT. The CDC lies about XMRV and the other serious infectious diseases and neuroimmune dysfunction in patients. They are lying and it is criminal. It is the CDC who coined the term CFS, Lyme, Fibromyalgia, and Gulf War, all within 10 years. Was this to water down the numbers of the epidemic pandemic? Over, there are over probably 20 million in the U.S. sick with the same symptoms and same illness. Patients need to band together. Is CDC against science? There are over 5,000 peer-reviewed scientific publications. Here is one of them about disability. CFS is the most disabling condition with higher levels of disability than someone with MS, end-stage renal disease, heart disease, cancer, congestive heart failure, late-stage AIDS, patients undergoing chemotherapy. They have profound physical impairment and scores lower than patients with heart failure and myocardial infraction. MECFS continues to be called controversial, mysterious, and mystery and baffles. Dr. Professor McClure, after 30 years, I'm a scientist and consider such scientists as incompetent, inept, ir irrational, or in denial or sinner by choice. Over 50% of all diseases, the etiology or causes are known, diseases such as Guillain Barre, Parkinson's, myasthenia gravis, and even headaches. They don't have a single cause, but they get treatments, clinical trials, and doctors and medications. My appeal. This is a serious medical emergency, far worse than the swine flu outbreaks. Patients need clinical trials, treatments, and thousands of doctors now. WPI and Judy have accomplished more in one year than the CDC has done in 30. Why? Why can we not get funding? This is the most important priority of all. The only reason patients cannot get SSDI is because of the CDC lies about our illness. The C the NIH has put out a new study that says CFS patients are dying from heart disease 25 years younger than normal. So patients die from heart disease. Doctors who are treating patients, I beg of you to open your doors and hire doctors to see more patients. What is someone who is severely ill supposed to do? Where can we go for help? Ample gen needs to be made available to patients. It shouldn't only be for the rich to get better. Other treatments such as IVIG and and many other treatments need to be made available, treatments being used in Norway, Italy, and Japan. Um, this is really an emergency. Uh, patients are dying a slow death, just like the men with syphilis in the Tuskegee experiment. It took those men 30 to 40 years to die. More and more of us are going to die because we're going on 25 years now. I know of five people who have died from this illness, and one of them was my very best friend. For one moment, can you try to think how it would feel if you could never work again, garden, do a hobby you love, shop, cook, walk, drive, hike, play with your kids, have kids, go to the beach, golf, and hundreds of things you would do that you take for granted. How would you feel if you could not support yourself and your government and doctors did not believe you were ill? How would you feel if you were suffering for 20 years and there were no doctors or treatment? How long could you take living in bed day after day, year after year, without any hope of ever getting better? How would you feel if you lost everything you had because you could not work? I am deteriorating, and my health is progressively getting worse. I have HHV6A, CMV, microplasma, subquest, IgG deficiency, EBV, and I have other immune deficiencies and neuro severe neurological problems. I am losing hope by the day. I cannot do basic things or care for myself. My body is ravaged by this illness. 
conclusion, what the CDC has done is a crime against humanity. ME-CFS is one of the most serious illnesses of our time and is a medical emergency. The CDC has lied to patients, doctors, and their country. Patients have been mistreated and abused by the CDC. Less than a minute, please. The CDC should be held criminally liable for deliberately making faulty definition for people who are gravely ill. They should be held criminally liable for allowing people to suffer and die, ignore 5,000 scientific publications and research scientists who have been warning the CDC that patients are suffering severe immune and neurological problems for 30 years. I offer my sincere empathy to anyone who is suffering from this devastating illness. My sister wrote something about me, and if I have a little bit of time, I'd like to read this from my sister, Joan. I'm Carolyn DeRossi's sister. She has lived in so much pain and suffering beyond comprehension. This disease has robbed her of the life she most definitely would have had. It is very heartbreaking to watch this happen to a person that had so much to live for. She was so healthy and outgoing. I am totally outraged how doctors in this country have not helped her. She has gone to doctor after doctor to doctor. All of them provide no solution. It is unfathomable how a country like the USA can pride itself on being one of the best countries in the world, yet allow the huge population of sick people to go untreated for years. Please wrap up. That's, that, that's all I'll say. Thank you very much. I appreciate this time to talk. Thank you, committee members, and thank you for all you're doing for us. We desperately need your help. Thank you, Ms. Girachi, and thank you for sending your testimony. We'll be sure it's on the website. Okay. Thank you. Take care. Thank you very much, Wanda. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.